Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Yeah, we got a very exciting video coming up. So over the past like month and a half, uh, I've been doing nothing but Croasis. I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, we stacked up quite a lot of kills. As we speak, I'm currently on like nearly 600, I think. So yeah, I've literally been doing nothing but this. I did take a little bit of a break for like a week maybe to do Raksha. But yeah, overall it's just been uh, mainly Crow and yeah, you're going to see a lot of loot from Crow in this episode. I got like so many uniques. But yeah, hope you enjoy the video. And try not to be jealous, I guess. I need to try and do this boss as much as possible because it drops such good items. And mainly I need the uh, flakes for my rune pouches because I need to upgrade these two grasping rune pouches. But yeah, we need, just need the, the flakes as well as... The other good drops that it drops. Yeah, we're currently on 11, 11 KC. Yeah, I pretty much just started. I'm enjoying it. Although I'm not very good at the minute, but I'm, I'm getting better. Definitely doing good. Uh, I got 421 that time. So pretty much in four man, every kill, every kill I was getting at least 420, which is really good. I think like one or two kills, I got 380. But majority of the time I was getting 12 drops. But honestly, 12 drops every time is, is really good. This is me from the future. Yeah, just a little update. Um, as I was saying this, it was accurate because you could actually get 12 drops, but about a week, about a week after I started Crow, you could no longer get 12 drops and the maximum was 10 drops. So yeah, it was still worth getting 420 every kill, but uh, anything after 400, the two extra drops that you no longer got, were specifically just to roll on the rare drop table so yeah it, from now on you can only get uh 10 drops from 400 points so yeah although it's still worth going for 420 plus of course because the extra rolls and the rare drops and yeah pretty much when i was learning crow um there was an update to the boss where the the drops got nerfed so hard and pretty much every drop on the table was reduced by like 50 to 70 percent so whereas before you would get, I don't know, 55 red spider eggs, it went down to about 15. It was ridiculous. Yeah, clearly I learned the boss at the wrong time, <laughs> but still really enjoyable. Oh my God. Okay, there's my first drop. Um, yeah, there we go. There's some crypt bloom bombs. <laughs> okay, that's sick. Oh my god, nice. Hey, let's have a look at this juicy, juicy chest. How much is it worth? 628 mil, Jesus Christ. There's the uh, Crypt Bloom legs, which are 617, which means the rest is worth 11 mil, so really good. Just in case you're wondering, I am on 116 KC. So I think that's really lucky, honestly. Oh my god, are you joking me? That was the that was the last kill of the hour. I just got another crypt balloon piece. Okay, that's um that's two crypt balloon pieces in two hours. What the fuck? Let's see what the loot was for that hour. Yeah, same as always. Uh, standard stuff in it. Jesus, I can't believe that. That's the crypt bloom helm now. So let's take that. Thank with that. That's two pieces of Crypt Bloom in, I don't know, what's that? 125 KC. I'm kind of lucky. Jesus. Okay, before I show you the next kill, can anybody tell me what this is? I'll give you a second. Okay, if you said this is a spoon, you'd be wrong. Because it's actually a dirty spoon. Oh my god, I just got the pet. No way. And this guy on my team, Ned, just got a fucking scripture. Really? No way. 176 kills and I get the pet. Pet and the book in the same drop. Yeah, literally. Jesus, no way. I just got the pet, man. That's insane. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, are you joking me? <laughs> That's my second Crypt Bloom Helm. That's interesting, I guess. Oh my god, are you joking me? Okay, there's a pair of boots. 
Jesus. Ah, my luck recently has been so good. Oh my god, really? How many homes? That's another... I think that's my third one, right? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, I just got fucking crit balloon top. Dude, that's sick. That is so sick. I am one piece away from full crypt boom, I think, now. Uh, yeah, I've got helms, I've got bodies, legs, so, and boots. I just need the gloves. No fucking way. No fucking way. That's back to back. What? I just got back to back crypt bloom. I just got body and then legs. <laughs> no fucking way. What the fuck? Oh my god, I'm actually being spooned. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But the question is, is it going to be back to back to back? If it is not, I'm just so unlucky. Oh my god. Wow, just a, just a manuscript. Just five mil. I'm so unlucky, man. Yeah, that was one hour of crow. Oh, let's have a look at this chest. I'm... I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I just got spooned so hard. 1.3 bill. That is a 1.4 bill chest in one hour. I got a Crypt Bloom top and a Crypt Bloom legs. Jesus Christ. Oh my lord, that's insane. Yeah, and then I also got 22 mil in normal loot because I got three ages. Oh my god. Yeah, man, that is a disgusting chest. It really is. I don't even, I literally don't know what to say. 311 KC. And one more piece for him full crypt. I just need the gloves. But we've got three helms, one top, two legs, one boots, and the pet. Yeah, man, I'm really lucky. Oh my god, really? God damn it, I just got another helm. Oh my god. How many helms? That is helm number four. Okay, that is another hour of crow done. Decent hour. We've got 489 mil. Obviously the uh, little crypto bloom helm. That is number four. Not sure what I'm supposed to do with four helms, but you know, is what it is. Oh, I got an effigy as well. Thousand soul runes. Hey, there we go. I just completed Birthright of the Dwarves. Not really a big fan of quests, but I wanted to complete it because I want the best in slot mining weapon. And obviously, to get that, I need to get the uh, pickaxe of Earth and Song. I need the Encando pickaxe from Lava Flow Mine. So I've already got the golden outfit from Lava Flow Mine, but. To kill the actual geysers, I needed to complete this quest apparently. So, the Encando pickaxe now, and then we're gonna go and turn that into a pickaxe of earth and song. So, I can carry on with my crow grind. About to make my pickaxe of earth and song finally. So, yeah, I'm about to turn this Gilded Dragon pickaxe into the Encando pickaxe. And this into the Encando pickaxe. Then, I've also pre bought my Blast Fusion hammer. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, Encando pickaxe and the crystal pickaxe and the blast fusion hammer so now we just go to an anvil go one here oh, i can use one here nice yeah we just go here and then we make the this one pickaxe of earth and song let's go done wow that's sick now i've got the best in slot best in slot item for mining and it's still got my perks on it really nice augmented pickaxe of earth and song very nice Looks pretty sick as well, I think. There we go. Okay, well, I've got to be honest, that grind was not very fun. So, yeah, if you look at all the stuff in my inventory, this took a while to get. There's my 10 blessed molten glass, my glorious Sithril chain, and then all the other stuff that I had to gather as well. Yeah, that was definitely not fun, but it's, it's definitely going to help me on my crow because obviously I do love doing crisis. And yeah, 412 KC. So this item that I'm about to make is just going to help out a little bit with uh, like getting killed, basically. So everything I've got here. So yeah, let's go ahead and make that. 
10,000 XP. Yeah, man, that was not a fine grind at all. But we're done. Now I've got the little measure for a crow. It's going to be really nice. It's just, uh, it helps uh, build these statues a little bit quicker. I'm also going to be working on the master construction outfit. So I think that takes about two and a half hours a piece. So it should take around 12 hours, give or take, to get all five pieces. So yeah, that's what we're going to be working on next. But yeah, with the master construction outfit, as well as the measure, you can build statues at Crow in like 20 seconds. Man, it's so quick. Oh shit, there we go. Nice, I just got a little scripture. My god, that is my first drop in 16 hours. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty decent. I'm happy with that. How many kills was that for the book? 477kc. Finally, man, finally. Okay, so, yeah, I haven't been at Crow in, in like, uh, almost a week. Because I've been doing something else, and this was not fun, I'm telling you now. Oh my god, that was, that was an absolute struggle. But yeah, I got 1250 contract credits from this, so let's go ahead and buy the Master Construction outfit. Alright, that was such a horrible grind, but I think it's going to be worth it, right? So yeah, I've now got the full Master Construction outfit. So this outfit, along with the measure, should uh, should be very good for building statues of crow. Oh yeah, we did hit 500 crow, by the way. Uh, we are now on 506 crow. And that is my log. So yeah, we're doing pretty decent, I think. I'm, st I'm still really missing the fire torch. I'm currently working on getting the orphan furnace course, so obviously if I can get this before I get the orphan, that'll be really good. That means I haven't got to waste time getting the orphan. Because it takes a long time to get all them supplies. So yeah. Hopefully we can get this before we make the orphan. Oh, uh, we need the spore hammer, we need the gloves, um, and the sack. So we're doing pretty good for 500 KC, honestly. Okay, so I'm just working on my Orphan Furnace Core, and I get some random PM from a guy. Hey, can I give you 600, 600 mil at the Grand Exchange? I am quitting. And this was all typed in like half a second, so it's clearly uh, auto-typer, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, I assume he doesn't know that I'm an Iron Man. Um, I guess I message him back. Yeah, sure. I'll take 600 mil. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, clearly a scammer. I'll report him after this. So we've got a pretty exciting thing coming up. All of the supplies that I need to make the Orthon Furnace Core. Oh, yep, Orthon Furnace Core. Let's begin the project. And there we go. Orthon Furnace Core is done. So yeah, this is going to be really good for Croesus. So, uh, yeah, this pretty much means that I no longer have to use logs when I burn stuff at Crow. And honestly, this was a this was kind of a pain to get. Like, the measure. The measure only took me, like, a couple of hours to get. But the Orphan Furnace Core, I was grinding the materials for, like, 10 hours. That took so long. Oh, yeah, it's done. Um, a little bit late because I'm already over 500 KC. And the reason I didn't make it before was because, honestly, I was expecting to have the uh, Fall Torch by now. But, yep, still 500 kills in no Fall Torch, so looks like we're going to be using the Furnace Core for a little bit. My uh, my preset for Crow is a lot nicer now. Uh, I've got the uh, I've got the Furnace Core, I've got the uh, Measure, I've got the full construction outfit, and I also bring stuff to disassemble as well, because, yeah, man, I, I usually finish my statues a lot quicker than, like, everyone else, so... Um, yeah, I think for about three minutes every kill I can just disassemble stuff. So just so I'm not wasting time. Okay, so I'd say so far we're doing pretty decent though, Crow. Um, yeah, I'm on like nearly 600kc at the minute. So let's just quickly go through like a rough estimate of how much I would have made if I was on uh, Mainscape. I'm not really sure how the prices work on Mainscape by the way, because like, as you can see from the table, if you look at the Crypt Bloom Top that is apparently worth 517 mil. Yet the unmade version, like before you put the flakes into it, is worth 721 or something. It's like over 200 mil more expensive, so I'm not really sure which price is more accurate. I assume the the fully made one, but yeah. 
So with the four helms that we got, they are approximately 354 mil each, which is roughly 1.4 bill. Crypt Bloom top, we only got one, which is 517. Two pairs of Crypt Bottoms, which is roughly 925 mil. Zero pairs of gloves. And then one pair of boots, which is up roughly 143. Just in the uh, rare drops alone, that's over 3 bill, which is pretty nice. Did also get a scripture, but that's only about 30 mil, so I'm, I'm not really going to count that. And then we did also get around 55 or 60 pages in total. And those pages are currently 5.8 mil each, give or take. So that's another 348 or so mil from just pages. And then honestly, I couldn't really tell you the common drops. But I think on the average, I was getting around 6 mil just in commons every hour. Like if I did an hour of crow and I didn't get any page, the normal common loot was worth approximately like it was between it was between like five and eight. So I say let's let's put it at six mil for now. So on average, I was getting nine kills every hour, and I'm currently on like nearly 600 KC. So 600 kills divided by nine is approximately 66.6 .6 hours. So let's round it up to about 67 hours. Roughly 6 mil an hour, so let's say, yeah, approximately 402 mil, give or take. It's probably a little bit more, it's probably a lot more to be fair, but that's just like a, a low estimate of 6 mil like in commons per hour. So that's approximately uh, 3.75 bill, but I assume it's going to be closer to the 4 bill mark. So yeah, decent amount of profit so far. But obviously I'm an iron man, so this means nothing to me. So I've just got to keep grinding and grinding until I get the rest of my crypts bloom, as well as all the other drops, because yeah, I definitely enjoy this boss a lot. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And be sure to uh, like and subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, catch you in the next one.